Good morning. It is Saturday and I'm here with my dad. I uh, sold my car a few days ago, uh, which you can't tell because I'm still in the car, but that's because I sold it to my parents and I'm hanging on to it for a few more days till I get my replacement. But today we're not car shopping, we are RV shopping. So my dad's here uh, with me. <laughs> and uh, he's gonna help me with all the negotiating. He sold cars for a little shy of 40 years. Um, so I don't care how old I am, as long as my dad's around, he's always gonna help me uh, with the financing and making these big decisions on vehicles, RVs, cars, and so forth. So uh, we're gonna take you with us throughout the day. I'm gonna try my best to film as much as I can. Um, but at the same time, I need to pay close attention to all the details of all these RVs because I'm making a pretty big decision. So if I can't bring you along as much as I like, I apologize now, but hopefully I'll be able to give you guys a good sneak peek of what I'm looking at. All right, here we go. We just pulled up to the uh, first stop here in Katy and about to go check out this uh, Volante. And if uh, this is one of the ones I like, and then there's another Volante I like down south in Alvin. So we're gonna go see how this one looks first and then uh, see if we're gonna go to the second spot or if this is the one I like. So here we go. All right, so we are looking at the Volante 3601 LF at the RV, RV station in Katy. I like the colors of it already. That's one thing I know for sure. And what was unique about this one is the uh, bunk area has like this really huge loft on top. And then an area that I could also convert into an office. See, this is what I was thinking to be the office. Yeah, got a little more space. And then see all this up here? Yeah. Yeah. And two sleeping here. Yeah. See? So it doesn't have the openness of the other one down in Alvin. Doesn't have what? That huge openness. Yeah. But you get all this. Yeah. And a second bathroom. So look at it down here. This isn't huge, obviously. But there's a bigger... And then this is what, look, here washer dryer set up here or a closet. Door also goes out. Yeah, so it's got two entry points. Okay, and uh... so this is the uh, second bathroom in the Look, unit. The other one that you saw had a sitting area. Well, there's another bathroom in here, Dad. Hold that. There's another bathroom in the master bedroom. Oh, that's going to the other side. All right, let's see it, it's loft. Yeah, I mean, realistically, the chances of any of the kids sleeping up here pretty slim, but this is great for a lot of yeah. storage. I would probably just use this up here for storage. And you got plenty of sleeping in there because that bottom one's a couch, but I can make my monitors and stuff up here. And what's great is that you have a window to look out. Yeah. And storage and TV hookup and everything there. And another good size for guest beds. And if beds. you eliminate that mattress for storage, you can make this a double mattress. Yeah, well this one too. And it's still a good amount of space here. This is nice. I like the color, I like the floor. Yeah, see I like the, the grays and the, I like these finishes. Yep. Everything's more modern and, and nice. And then the fridge, look how big this fridge is. Yeah, that's what I was impressed. And the stove. It's a, a residential. So we may not even have to drive down to Alvin Dad because I, I really like this one a lot. Like I said, after I saw so one in Alvin's nice too, and it has that built-in desk, but you can only sleep three. No, this one's got no more sleeping arrangements. And it's still got, in my opinion, it's still okay, got plenty of sexual. plenty of uh, cabinets. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, nice. Look at that. Yeah. And then what's this one over here? <laughs> Look at all that. <clears throat> That's probably for women's. And we haven't even gotten to the master bedroom in yeah. the bathroom yet. This is nice and it's got a fireplace. Yeah, all of the ones that I'm looking at do it. See the window treatments are nice. Yeah. And this is a, a huge plus right here too. The other one had wooden blinds. This blackout 
Nice. I really like this one. I'm almost glad that the one I was looking at original, originally, uh, and not the ocean. I'm, I'm, this is a much nicer find, I think. But let's see. So this is the uh, the master bath. Now it doesn't have the giant shower that you saw in that other unit with the bench and all that. This I wish was not plastic, but I can switch that out. Well, just to take a shower is... It's adequate. Yep. I mean, it's a little short, but it's good enough. Yeah. For the trade-off of all the extras, I'm not living in the shower. Yeah. Right. Oh, hey. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm sorry. I didn't realize there were people in here. It's all right. Hey, we're just looking at ourselves. Yes. This isn't as big as I was thinking it was, but this is a queen, I think. It's not a queen. It's a queen. Weird. Weird. Oh. <clears throat> off track. It's off track, but it's okay. So pretty good size here. Can mount the TV there. Yeah, she's got the finish on the drawers too. And then uh, Sure there's some storage under here. Yeah. Yeah. Get up. So me and my dad just finished uh, looking at RVs and I didn't even have to go make any other stops. I just went to the first place and went straight to the RV that I've been looking at online. Uh, and I went ahead and put in all the paperwork on everything. So if all goes uh, <laughs> well, I'll find out Monday or Tuesday if, if I'm the owner of a new RV. So thanks dad for helping me out. Uh, we didn't get You're to welcome. do a whole lot of negotiating, but I always take my dad with me when I buy things since he's he's got so much experience in a, a sales of vehicles. And if anybody's watching, yes, this is during COVID. We are wearing masks everywhere we go. We're just not wearing them right now because it's in the car and it's pretty hot. So uh, pretty excited about this. Hopefully the uh, follow up to the second half of this video or the next part of this video will be me uh, taking delivery of my new RV. Until then, we'll see how it goes. Oh,